Hello, I'm Dr. Mangala Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF and the consultant at KC Raju Multi-Speciality Hospital. The fallopian tubes are thin tubes which are used to transport the eggs from the ovary to the uterus. So these are the regions where fertilization occurs and the embryo form is then transported into the uterus. However, in some cases, these fallopian tubes may be blocked. This may be due to infections such as tuberculosis or it may be due to sexually transmitted diseases. In some cases, there may be conditions such as endometriosis or even in cases of previous pelvic surgery, these tubes can get blocked due to adhesions. So if the block is proximal, that is closer to the uterus, then the egg may travel through the tube but may remain in the place where the block is present. In such cases, over a period of time, the egg undergoes atresia or it breaks down and gets absorbed. In cases where the tube is blocked distally, that is towards the ovarian end of the tube, the egg may not even enter the tube and may be released into the peritoneal cavity, that is the abdominal cavity, and may get absorbed in the fluid. Thanks.